Have you ever heard of Boudicca, the warrior queen of the Celtic Iceni tribe, known for her valiant rebellion against Roman rule? A striking figure in British history, Boudicca's tale is one of courage, defiance and resilience. Rising to power after the death of her husband, King Prasuticus, she fiercely led her tribe in revolt against the mighty Roman Empire. Boudicca was not just a queen, she was a mother, a leader and a warrior. Her spirit was as fiery as her flaming red hair, a symbol of her indomitable will. In the face of Roman oppression, she rallied her people, leading them into battle. Her story, however, doesn't end in victory. It culminates in her ultimate demise, a tragic end to a life of relentless struggle. Yet her legacy lives on. Her story has been told and retold throughout history, inspiring generations with her bravery. But Boudicca's story, like many historical figures, is not without its share of myths and legends. While Boudicca's story is well documented, there are intriguing Norse tales about the Jotnar, a race of mythological giants. Originating from the frosty realms of Jotunheim, these towering beings are a fascinating part of Norse mythology. Characterized by their great strength and often seen as forces of chaos and destruction, they were both feared and respected. The Jotnar, though antagonists to the gods, were also their kin and allies in several tales. They had the ability to shapeshift, and their narratives are filled with epic battles, cunning tricks, and complex relationships with the gods. Now let's take a whimsical leap of imagination. Some have speculated about connections between these mythological giants and historical figures like Boudicca. Could there have been a giantess amidst the Iceni tribe? Or perhaps Boudicca herself was seen as a symbolic giant, a towering figure of resistance? These tales, while not historically verified, provide a rich tapestry of mythology that some have whimsically linked to figures like Boudicca. A recent archaeological discoveries shed light on the Celtic tribes of that era, although they haven't confirmed any connections to Norse mythology. These findings have unearthed a wealth of information about the Celtic tribes, particularly the Iceni, during Queen Boudicca's reign. In the windswept fields of Norfolk, archaeologists have uncovered remnants of ancient settlements, revealing intricate patterns of life. From the layout of their homes to the tools they used, we get a glimpse into the daily life of the Iceni tribe. Their pottery, often decorated with swirling patterns, speaks of an artistic culture with a deep connection to the natural world. In addition, the discovery of numerous Iron Age coins gives us a window into their economy. The coins, often bearing the image of a wild horse, are a testament to the importance of these animals in Iceni society. It's fascinating to think of these coins passing through the hands of traders, soldiers and perhaps even Boudicca herself. Despite these discoveries, there's still much we don't know. The links between the Iceni and the mythical Jotna of Norse legend remain elusive. The tales of giant warriors and gods remain within the realm of myth and folklore, their echoes resonating in the tales we tell today. These findings help us understand Boudicca's incredible life and the culture of the Iceni tribe, even as they leave many questions unanswered. The mysteries of the past continue to beckon, inviting us to seek to discover and to understand the stories of those who came before us. As we venture through these stories, we invite you to ponder the blend of history and myth. In this intriguing intersection, we discover a delicate dance of fact and fiction, where legends and myths shape our understanding of historical figures like Boudicca. The power of a story lies not only in its content, but also in the way it is told and remembered. Stories even when they diverge from historical fact, carry immense value, providing us with insights into the culture, beliefs and values of the time. Take, for example, the tales that tie Boudicca to the mythical Jotnar. While there's no archaeological evidence to substantiate these claims, the persistence of these stories speaks volumes about the human fascination with the extraordinary and the heroic. They serve as a testament to Boudicca's larger-than-life persona, a woman who dared to challenge the mighty Roman Empire. These tales also underscore the enduring influence of Norse mythology on the collective imagination. They bring us face to face with the incredible power of storytelling, its ability to transcend time and space, to blur the lines between the real and the imagined, 
and to immortalize figures like Boudicca in the annals of history and myth. What can we learn from the way these stories are told and remembered? Perhaps it is the blend of history and myth that keeps the story of Boudicca alive and intriguing to this day.